let's use a colorful rubber band to demonstrate the joint actions of the coracobrachialis muscle, but especially to look at the rotation possibilities that this muscle has. So first it goes from the coracoid process to the scapula, and it goes down onto the middle one-third of the medial shaft of the humerus. So it crosses the glenohumeral joint, it will move the glenohumeral joint. It crosses it somewhat vertically in the sagittal plane. So if I pull this way, we would get flexion of the arm at the glenohumeral joint. It crosses in the frontal plane on the inside, the medial side of the glenohumeral joint. Now in anatomic position, we're basically already pretty much in full adduction. So if we started in abduction and it pulled, it would pull the lateral attachment toward the medial attachment, and we would have AD, adduction of the arm at the glenohumeral joint. Now it has one line of pull, so it really only can do one oblique plane motion pattern, which would be a combination of the flexion with the adduction. So that's its one motion pattern. Now, the coracobrachialis is not said to do any rotation of the arm, the humerus at the glenohumeral joint, because it basically goes straight on to the medial surface of the humerus. It doesn't wrap around the humerus at all. But that's when it's in anatomic position. If we started with the humerus more laterally rotated, now the muscle is wrapping around that shaft of the humerus, and when it pulls, it would medially rotate the humerus back to anatomic position. If instead we started with the arm, the humerus, in medial rotation, when the coracobrachialis pulls, it would laterally rotate the humerus back to anatomic starting position. So from anatomic position, the coracobrachialis has no rotation capability in the transverse plane. But if we start in lateral rotation, it can medially rotate us back to anatomic. If we start in medial rotation, it can laterally rotate us back to anatomic position. So it eliminates whatever rotation we started in. So sometimes muscles like this are known as derotators. rotators